Um, so I'm going to look at the angle bisectors of opposite angles of a quadrilateral and show that their intersections form a cyclic quadrilateral. Um, so we're going to start with any old quadrilateral. Um, but I'm going to be talking about angles and I'm going to want to actually specify a couple of angles in my um, or name a couple of angles in my uh, uh, quadrilateral. So, um, opposite, um, so, so angle bisectors of all these, um, all my angles. This is the bisector tool. If you select a single segment, it will give you the perpendicular bisector. But if you select two segments, it will give you the angle bisector. Um, create all my angle bisectors. Now, this is the quadrilateral I'm interested in looking at. Um, and let me just draw the segments. Now, what I want to do is prove that that thing is a cyclic quadrilateral. I'm going to do, do this by angle. Um, we know that the angles, the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to pi. Um, and so that's what I want to show. Uh, work angle EHG. Uh, theta plus phi over two. Now, at this point, you can immediately jump to the conclusion because if you think about what these two angles are, EFG is going to be the sum of these two angles up here. I'll do that in GX Web. You can think about it. Um, angle EFG. And we see that if we add those two together, um, they are going to give us pi. Um, and uh, of course, the same is going to be true of the opposite too, because the whole lot add up to two pi. And so just to illustrate that this in fact makes it cyclic, let's draw this circle. Um, we can take three points and always get a circle through those three points. So we'll do that. And we see that in fact, H um, lies on that uh, or that circle we can play around with it and show that it or illustrate that it's always true we already know that it's always true from um, our proof 